Hey guys, good morning. So today we are going to be uh, like uh, continuing the the sessions, the sessions on the on the companies. So today we are going to be on on the NBFC space. So I have taken three companies: Arman Financials, Mass Financials, and IFL Finance, right? So of course I'll be I'll be covering the companies in great detail. And if you want to like say for example like say. People come up to me and ask me, "Okay, like I want to analyze an NBFC. Like, what are the parameters to look?" So when you are, so when we are covering these companies, we ensure that we cover all those parameters, which you can, like, of course, note it down, and you can, you can, and you can do that yourself when you are researching on your own. Okay, so all the parameters. So financials me parameters hum kya kya dekhte hai. So I'll give you a brief on this before I move on to the presentation. So first is we look at the we look at the the loans. You know the loan book, uh, the spread. Like, like for example, say, say, मतलब companies कहाँ कहाँ पे loans देते हैं? Where do in which geographies do they give? What is the target customer base and what is the breakup of the AUM? मतलब कहाँ कहाँ पे loans दिया है? Like microfinance segment, gold loan, car loan, personal loan. There are so many divisions, right? That a company can have. So first we have to understand where is the where is the one particular institution giving giving the loans to? Who are their customers? Then what we check is के like Okay, like how is the how is the loan book growing, right? Then we check how is the deposit book growing if it's a bank and if it's an NBFC, we check the you know the the cost of borrowing and the sources of capital for that NBFC. Then we check, of course, the most important parameter which is asset quality and of course the GNPs and the NNPs and the collection efficiencies of that one particular financial. And then of course we look at the 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 profitability metrics, right? We look at NIMS, we look at we look at uh, uh, ROAs and the ROVs. So ultimately, at the end of the day, whenever you're doing a financial, make sure that you understand K like at the end of all these analysis, if the ROA number or the ROE number keeps going down, that means upper stock upper nee jayega. The stock Will not go up, right? So ROA or ROE are the two most critical parameters. जो पूरे ये जो सारे जो जो checklist है, वो culminate होके आता है on that ROE का number. So make sure that you understand this, right? And we are going to be covering this for each and every NBFC, each or every bank that we cover in the workshops. Okay? So when we are covering those points, just ensure that again I'm reiterating, I know, but just ensure that you understand that those are the most important parameters that you can check, that you can check when you can do an analysis on your own. Okay, so on that note, let me uh, share my screen. Okay, so we'll start with Arman Financials, as uh, discussed. First, we'll have to focus. Okay, like where does Arman give its most money to? Now you can clearly see here that Arman gives most its money to the to the microfinance space. Eighty-three percent of their total AUM is in microfinance. So microfinance is a space where 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 they work in a JLG uh, model. That means joint lending group model. So Arman gives mostly mostly Arman give, makes money by giving giving loans to the the group loans by giving group loans to. the women in the villages and in the semi urban regions of this country so arman is basically a microfinance institution that doesn't target people in the cities but they target mostly people in the rural areas and the semi urban regions so that is where they make the most money second is they also give msme loans to the same category people that means what say for example you are in a village and you want to open a kirana store and you want to sell groceries okay or let's say for example you want to buy a cattle from where you can you want to collect milk and then you want to make money by selling milk right so arman gives you loans arman gives you msme loans for you to for you to buy the cattle okay and they also have a two wheeler uh, division where which is 3 4% of their total book but a majority of the money comes from giving giving loans to giving loans to the microfinance people okay so you can pause the video and you can clearly see one important thing i would like to tell you can you see that the average ticket size is always low here so when you are dealing with people from the lowest strata of the economy right you cannot give high ticket items to them because these are the kind of people who don't have you know which i mean like who don't have any credit ratings right most of these people won't even won't even be allowed to take a loan from an sbi or an hdfc because inka sab kachcha bills hote hai right inka aap dekhoge koi apne personal account se kaam karte hai inka agar aap dekhoge Okay, like you know these are the kind of people who don't even have a source dikhane ke liye okay, like you know ye ye log tax nahi bharte hai us tarah se agar aap dekhoge to so mostly in the informal and the semi formal space so yahan pe you can't give high ticket size item if you give high ticket size loans or yahan pe default ho jata hai then you can go out of business i'm talking from the financial perspective so how do you negate this you negate this by diversifying so you go to different geographies different states and you give low tickets 
low ticket size uh, amount to millions of people and that's how they make money so that's how that game actually is for micro and not only for arman for any nbfcs who are catering to let's say in uh, in the microfinance space and the sme and the msme segment you will see because see you always know okay like there is always a high chance of default in every loan that you give right so say for example if there is a high chance of default but then you also know that you have given you know let's say 35000 rupees karke to millions of people even if there are a certain defaults you can as long as you make more money from the people who are you know giving your you know your money back with interest than the money you lose in in defaults you are okay right because in banking and financials you are always supposed to lose there is no bank in the world or a financial in the world with a 0% npa wo hota nahi hai so and then of course you see the yield here right now since they are taking so much risk arman is taking so much risk in giving you know giving giving money to the semi formal and the rural economy ke log right so they would of, of course want a higher yield so can you see the yield here if you just follow my cursor you will see 22 27 30 35% ka yield hai so that's the point here right ke like they they get so much of an yield from an existing borrower ke agar koi default bhi kar jata hai to unko utna farak nahi padta hai so that you can of course pause the video and you can like read the other important things here i mean the tenure and everything now let's understand each of the segments in a bit more detail this is the main part microfinance loan which is 83% of their book i mean again you can pause the video and you can just just read this look how all the numbers like the aum disbursal pat a ticket size everything has gone up on a yoy basis this shows that the microfinance matlab as a space has come back up after covid so well and arman has taken full advantage in this space if you look at disbursal or if you look at pat look at pat here from 18 to 67 so basically their pat has gone up by three and a half times which is like stupendous right and then again if you come to this key ratio you see the net interest margin the margin is 13.7% so arman raises capital at a higher uh, at a at a higher rate correct because of course you understand right ke like arman is considered to be more risky than say for example uh, say an hdfc bank or an sbi arman doesn't have a casa franchise right so they will have to take money at a higher pace so unka cost of borrowing bhi agar aap dekhoge cost of borrowing means the the rate at which arman is raising money that is 9 10 11 12% and the net interest margin is 11 to 13% that means arman is lending money at 25 27% is i hope you understand this point that's why you can see here the yield is 26 net interest margin is 13 so the cost of borrowing is between 10 to 12% okay so again like you can just pause the video and you can see this this is the point i was trying to say ke arman mostly jab microfinance lending deta hai to generally these are unsecured loans right that's why you give it to 10 women at one go so that you know so that if one moment default she will lose her face in front of her you know in front of her relatives and friends so arman us psychology mein play karta hai i mean not only arman but any microfinance companies in the world second is see so basically the difference between say for example a bank bank will generally give a working capital loan to let's say a company right ke theek hai matlab salaries dene mein dikkat ho raha hai to ye lo 2 mahine ke liye paisa but arman and all they are they are basically there for income generation for their borrowers so say for example agar kisi ko livestock ya dairy agri allied kirana store kholna hai to wo arman se loan leta hai okay let's move on msme loans 13% can you see the yield is higher than the microfinance space so that's why arman in their con call said ke going forward the percentage of the loan book towards msme loans will be higher right aaj jaise hai only 12 13% hai going forward they would want to take it to north of 20% because yahan pe yield bhi higher hai and basically why this msme loans is ke like see think about this if let's say you are a microfinance uh, customer arman has been giving you 30000 40000 and all that and then let's say your business starts evolving correct let's say you open a kirana store and arman gives you 40000 rupees and then let's say your kirana store takes off right then of course you would want to open another kirana store correct so then then what would what would that customer do arman matlab any microfinance company who would say like no we won't give you more than 35000 then that person will have to go to a bank right because now he is getting bigger so for that one particular customer to stay with arman arman then has opened this whole msme division as well as the individual loan division right so that then they can give you know a repeat customer i mean a repeat borrower a high ticket size loan let's say 70000 rupees or let's say 1 lakh rupees because he deserves that money right he has done well he has proven himself so why won't the same financial give more money to that same customer going forward so he can he or she can expand his business so if arman doesn't give that money to that customer he will no longer be a customer of arman that is a negative for that company so repeat business gaya 
second thing is ke like second thing is ke like even if that person cannot go to a bank right so that means what uska business ka growth nahi aayega that is also bad for the economy in general correct so is tarike se aap dekh sakte ho so that's why the msme division and the individual loan division i think the individual loan division uh, which is i think it's only 2 to 3% okay yeah so now we have the two wheeler and the rural uh, two wheeler loan book again you can see the yield is pretty high but this is a very small part of the book but again having said that you can see the aum or the disbursal hasn't gone up at that rate why because in india if you see the two wheeler segment has been really struggling for the last 4 5 years and arman has also said the same thing on the call now very critical now that we know ke arman kahan kahan paisa deta hai where are the places where they give money now the second thing that we need to know is ke like कहां कहां पे है कंट्री में सो कैन यू सी देयर ओनली इनटू एट स्टेट्स राइट आई रिमेंबर व्हेन आई फर्स्ट ट्रैक दिस कंपनी दे वर ओनली इनटू फोर और फाइव स्टेट्स नाउ देयर इनटू एट स्टेट्स दे स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम गुजरात एक्चुअली एंड दे स्टार्टेड स्केलिंग अप इन महाराष्ट्र एमपी एंड रिसेंटली दे हैव गॉन इनटू बिहार सो बिहार हैज बीन डूइंग वेरी वेल फॉर अरमान इन द लास्ट 6 8 मंथ्स सो दैट्स व्हाई एंड नाउ अगेन हैविंग सेड दैट लुक एट द प्रोस्पेक्ट हियर इंडिया हैज अराउंड 30 31 स्टेट्स राइट अरमान इज ओनली इनटू एट स्टेट्स सो इन द नेक्स्ट डेकेड इफ अरमान कैन लेट्स से डबल द नंबर ऑफ स्टेट काउंट एंड इंक्रीस पेनिट्रेशन इन द एग्जिस्टिंग स्टेट्स जस्ट थिंक ऑफ द बुक मतलब कहां पे जा सकता है हां नाउ कमिंग बैक टू द क्यू4 का नंबर्स लुक एट द एयूएम का ग्रोथ 58% ऑन अ वाईओवाई बेसिस एंड टू 1948 करो नाउ दिस इज व्हाट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से राइट से नाउ इफ यू जस्ट जस्ट वेयर द हैट ऑफ अ विजनरी राइट only eight states and also not much of penetration in each state if they can increase penetration and they can move on to 12 13 14 states in the future right north in matlab east india or south india mein to hardly presence hai inka west mein aur north mein jo hai right so think about this this book can even be around 20000 crore the aum ka book and still arman would be considered to be a small financial i'll tell you the book size of state bank of india is around 23 lakh crores 23 lakh crores so arman even if they are 10x of the current current book they are still considered to be they will still be considered to be a small drop in this huge ocean right oh so next coming back to the pat can you see the pat growth yoy is higher than aum ka growth it means that that arman has operating leverage as well so when your pat growth is more than sales growth or when your pat growth is more than your loan book ka growth it shows that you are using your fixed capital wisely that is what arman is also doing so that's another great solid thing look at disbursals disbursals have gone up 90% on a yoy basis disbursal is basically that the that the fresh money that you are giving out to your borrowers in that last particular quarter so the fresh money that was given out in q4 fy23 is almost double of the money that they given out in q4 fy22 and then after all these great growth figures you see the that the asset quality has also improved for arman both on a yoy and a qoq basis right so that is like amazing and then of course you can clearly see here the best number is roe so so just see what we have done here in the checklist for we look first we looked at the break up of the loan book then we checked the geography the kind of customers they are dealing with the kind of yields that they are making right we looked at the nims right we looked at the cost of borrowing and now we are looking at the profitability numbers like look at nims here the nim is 19.2% in q4 which is amazing and you can clearly see the yield 33% ka yield matlab i have never seen anybody giving loans at 33% it's like 33% mein if you give out 100 rupees ka loan you will get back the interest of 100 rupees in, within the next 3 years actually less than 3 years actually two and a half years so and the roe number is an outstanding 41% in q4 and 32% in fy23 so let me tell you this very clearly okay if let's say for example we have a bull market in india and fii money comes to india fii money would want to chase companies like arman why because they have growth and better asset quality of course see i wouldn't have been interested in this growth had arman been a loss making company or wouldn't have had roe ka number or let's say for example a bad asset asset quality right tab main arman ka baat hi nahi karta maybe i wouldn't even have made a workshop on it okay but the fact that they're improving their asset quality and can grow roe grow their aum and pat at such a great pace on such a small base because ultimately liquidity will chase growth in the market right so you guys must have also seen right which stocks which have earnings momentum are at all at are at all time high right jo stocks ka earnings momentum hai wo bull market ho ya bear market ho they will be at all time high it doesn't matter kis type ka market hai aur fii because fii ka ek bhi paisa aayega ya dii ka ek bhi rupaye jayega wo isi stocks ko chase karega so that's the point 
Now, can you look at, so this is basically the performance of Arman in the last four to five quarters. You can just pause the video and check. Okay, like, okay, one thing I would like to say in the last three quarters here, before Q4, Arman, Arman invested a lot of money in technology. So unka ek LOS or LMS ka system hai, by which they moved on to their, moved on to a cashless system. So unka sourcing of loan, disbursal of loan, collections of loan. They are trying to make this into a cashless thing. Okay, for that you need to invest in tech. As a result of which, unka AUM, agar aap dekhoge, unka AUM between Q1 and Q2 utna nahi bada tha. And the management was very clear in that con call, ke hum ye nahi kar rahe hai, because temporarily we need to, you know, get our system straight. And now you see, once the entire digitization process is done, look at the boom in the AUM. Of course, having said that, you also need to understand for a financial, Q4 is the best quarter, right? Q1 is always the worst, then Q2, then Q3, and then Q4. So H2 or the second half of a fiscal is always better than H1 because H2 may you get the festive period and everything. Or H1 may kya hota hai ke aisa ek, ek dry spell jata hai. So you need to also take those things into consideration when you look at all these numbers. Again, look at the numbers, look at the net interest margin going up, look at the yield, the yield is now at 33%. So Arman has never seen this kind of yield in a quarter in the history of the business. Okay, and of course, look at the ROA and the ROE number. I mean, if you see that the ROE number just took a hit in the last three quarters because now when will ROV number come down when the equity base goes up when let's say there's more investments in the business so if you're investing more and more money the equity base goes up correct and as a result of which the ROV number can come down which is good because you're looking for the future and then is quarter may they can actually see the benefits of of the of digitization in their business now, very critical to understand because see, when I talk about Arman to people, the first reaction is ke like, oh, ye to agla koi problem aega, to ye ludak jayega. Theek hai. But this is what I would want you guys to see that during demonetization and during COVID, look at this, the ROE number. If you look at the ROE number, it was never negative, right? Even during the depths of COVID also, Arman gave an ROE of 5.8%. That means what? Arman never suffered losses. And Arman ka book is strong enough. The collection efficiency is good enough for the company to not make losses even during demonetization or during COVID. So that shows the sustainability and the structural strength of the business. Although upar se aapko Arman dekhne ko lagega ke like, wo, ye to bohut hi risky institution hai, right? Microfinance lending karta hai, MSME lending karta hai, and they say that the yield on their advances is not of 30%, right? To hume jana hai nahi. Even I had the same thing with Arman going back like even like two three years back right and I think probably that's one of the reasons why I never invested in the stock and actually I've seen Arman ka stock go up five to six x if you even look at Arman ka stock ka chart in the last four five years the stock ka chart has always been on the upward trend even though we had demonetization and COVID and now you know why because fundamentally they never suffered of course when demonetization came and COVID came Everybody had to like, you know, like asset quality, sabka bura hua. they had to provide more. And that's why when you do excess of provision, right, your ROV number comes down. But having said that, and look at the recovery as well, right? So these are the, these are the factors you need to check and you need to. So the reason, as I said, okay, like we, we have to look at businesses like Arman, like, you know, going forward, there will be problems in the economy. But if there is a company that can handle demonetization and COVID very well, I am pretty sure I can be, you know, uh, you know, I can be, I can be good with this company. Agar aage ja economy mein aur bhi koi problems aay toh. Haan, now look at asset quality. Again, having said that, look at this. Their asset quality did went up during demonetization. But look, look at that. Right after demonetization, the asset quality improved. COVID mein again asset quality worsened, but asset quality kiska kharaab nahi hua tha in COVID mein, right? But then just look at the drastic recovery in asset quality right after COVID. That shows the structural nature and the, and the sustainable nature of the model of Arman Financials. Now, again, very, very simple notes ke tarike se I've written. You can pause the video and you can also read with me. So just basic thing is ke like, now we have to look at what the management outlook is saying because the market always looks forward, correct? The market does not look back. Abhi tak humne back mein dekha ki Q4 ka numbers kaise hai, pichle 5 saal ka results kaise hai, geographical distribution dekha. So all those things talk about Arman and its history. Now we have to look forward because if you want to make money in the stock market, you have to see ke what is the growth outlook that the management is giving, right? What are the branches ka outlook? At what rate can Arman can grow in the future? Right. So let's understand what the management said on the con call. See, they are targeting an AUM growth of 35 to 40 percent in FY24. Now you understood that in FY23, in FY23, they had operating leverage. Now think about this. If their AUM can grow at 40 percent and with operating leverage, the pad growth can be 50 to 70 percent. 
right now that is the reason why arman ka stock today is at all time high because the market also understands ke now with that next financial year there won't be any covid right and aage ja ke interest rates ghatne wala hai jaise rbi has stopped raising rates so even arman ka cost of borrowing will also start coming down that's another point and if the cost of borrowing comes down your nims can expand even further and your rov can also take a boost matlab already rov is a high number and it can take a boost to your pat and the eps ka growth number so if the aum ka target is 35 to 40% this is amazing commentary by the management the credit cost to be around 2 to 2.5% now there is one more thing which the arman management said they don't expect credit cost to be in the 1% range because see if you are scaling up a microfinance business giving out such high matlab low ticket high risk loans right to so many people it's fine to have a credit cost in the range of 2 to 3% don't worry about that see credit cost of hdfc bank will be less than 1% why because hdfc bank deals with a kind of customers who gives them 12 13% yield on their loans but arman is giving loans to customers jahan pe yield aata hai 30 35% to yahan pe credit cost thoda high hoga to chalega that's what i'm saying like arman mein defaults will be more than hdfc bank but arman also makes more money on one individual borrower than hdfc bank correct so yahan pe it balances out at the end of the day so that's why arman ka credit cost or even koi dusra microfinance ho ya nbfc ho unka credit cost is always okay to be on the higher side you can't say the credit cost of arman is 2.5 and kotak mahindra bank is 0.5 so i will just buy kotak mahindra bank okay you have to understand that's why i started with the nature of the business kin kin customers ko loans de rahe hai and the geographical distribution right technology and system in place complete paperless journey from sourcing disbursal connections right of course then i wrote the aum and the disbursal number we have already discussed this now started individual loan book to continue doing business with the high performers in the joint lending group that's what i said right i have already touched upon this point ke joint lending group mein let's say cattle ka business karke kirana store karke jo improve kar raha hai that person should not then look for a high ticket size loan and go to a bank and leave arman that's why arman has also started an individual loan as well plus the msme sector so i think right now the individual loan book of arman is around 2% of their total book so 1900 crore ka 2% is like nothing but going forward they would want to scale this up to 3 4 5 6% and increase the msme space so as a result of which the 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 joint lending group microfinance which is 83% today will come down to around 60 65% 3 4 5 years down the line so plan to raise more equity after aum crosses 2500 so arman is a company that raised equity last year 2022 ke i guess september mein and if you look at the price to book of arman it's north of 5 or north of 6 tha when they raised equity so when you can when you can raise equity from the market at a price to book of more than 1 it means the market is also telling you that this is a great financial you will see the bad financials are the one jiska price to book is less than 1 and they find it very hard to raise money but if you can raise money so i'll tell you this bajaj finance raise money at three times the book four times the book five times the book why the market is willing to pay you know an amount which is a multiple times of book for a good financial so any financial when they can raise capital right when they can raise capital at a multiple you know at a multiple to book that means the market aapko muh pe bata raha hai upar upar se bata raha hai ki like this is a great financial so if the so if they can invest why don't you right so that's that's the thing and arman now that the book is now at 2000 crore of course right if you want to grow at 30 40 50% right you will have to constantly raise equity and dilute equity correct dilute equity in the business and raise more equity capital correct so that's what arman ka management says ke 20 2000 se jab 2500 ho jayega then we have to again raise equity money maybe the next time they will raise equity money at seven times book but that is absolutely fine because if you look at the history of bajaj finance they have always raised equity money at high price to book rather than a, rather than less than book so now where is the growth coming from in arman growth supported by newer states like bihar bihar is doing amazingly well for arman up is also doing well and much better than maharashtra and gujarat one more thing that arman ka management said ke like maharashtra was the was the state that suffered the most in covid okay so that's why agar maharashtra bhi maharashtra ka abhi to come back ho raha hai so if once maharashtra comes back to the pre covid level inka growth rate aur bhi yahan se badhega okay so namra namra is basically the microfinance division of arman okay that's called namra financials so 
नम्रा को अपग्रेड किया है बाय दिस रेटिंग एजेंसी कॉल्ड केयर टू द हाईएस्ट एमएफआई रेटिंग नाउ यू अंडरस्टैंड राइट इवन अ रेटिंग एजेंसी हैज गिवन अरमान का माइक्रो फाइनेंस डिवीजन व्हिच इज बाय द वे कितना 83% ऑफ द बुक द हाईएस्ट क्रेडिट रेटिंग जितना आपको दे सकता है हाईएस्ट जितना हो सकता है फॉर माइक्रो फाइनेंस केयर ने वही देके रखा है सो इवन केयर इज आल्सो टेलिंग यू सो फंड रेजिंग हो गया एक 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 रेटिंग एजेंसी भी वही आपको बता रहा है कि हम आपको एक हाईएस्ट रेटिंग दे रहे हैं प्लस वी सी वाई why is kr giving the highest rating you know we understand because you see asset quality acha ho raha hai technology mein in, investment kar chuke hai and of course along with that the profitability and the growth in profitability is immense so arman plans to add more customers and branches instead of increasing ticket size see this is what i'm trying to say right the job is not to keep increasing ticket size then you no longer will become a microfinance company राइट देन आप एक बैंक के और जा रहे हो राइट वो हमें नहीं बनना है मतलब अरमान को नहीं बनना है व्हाट अरमान हैज टू डू इज लो टिकट साइज को तीस चालीस हजार रुपए रखो थर्टी फोर्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज बट यू नीड स्केल यू नीड वॉल्यूम लाइक आई वांट अरमान टू डी मतलब वो डीपर एंड डीपर इन बिहार डीपर एंड डीपर इन हरियाणा छत्तीसगढ़ बंगाल जितना डीपर हो सकता है जाओ नया नया जोग्राफीज में जाओ so and they are also targeting branch expansion at 20% in fy24 so the outlook for fy24 for arman looks looks very good one last thing by by arman is such a great company which is of course i showed the history of the company as well they did not lay off or reduce salaries for any employees during covid this is an amazing thing right i mean i got that from their annual report as well like covid ke time covid ke time there are so many financials jinhone logo ko मतलब छटाई कर दिया था भगा दिया था राइट या सैलरी को रिड्यूस कर दिया था अरमान ने सबको नॉर्मल हाइक्स भी दिया राइट सो दिस इज एन दिस इज एन अमेजिंग इंस्टीट्यूशन बट सिंस इट्स सच अ लो मार्केट कैप वाला कंपनी एंड इट गिव्स यू द परसेप्शन दैट इट्स वेरी रिस्की तो लोग इसके बारे में उतना जानते नहीं है सो नाउ हियर इज द थिंग अगेन लाइक सम मोर अदर पॉइंट्स हियर लाइक द गियरिंग कैन गो अप टू 5 टू 6 टाइम्स गियरिंग का मतलब है डेट टू इक्विटी रेशियो सो आरओई इज इक्वल टू आरओए इनटू डेट बाय इक्विटी ओके सो इफ लेट्स से फॉर एग्जांपल दे टेक मोर डेट सो लेट्स से इफ आई टेक मोर एंड मोर डेट फ्रॉम द मार्केट और आई डाइल्यूट मोर एंड मोर इक्विटी तब भी तो आई विल गेट मोर मनी टू लेंड करेक्ट सो इफ आई एम नॉट डाइल्यूटिंग इक्विटी और इफ आई एम नॉट टेकिंग एनी डेट एंड माय गियरिंग इज अराउंड 1 टू 2x इट मींस व्हाट आई विल हैव डिफिकल्टी टू ग्रो माय एयूएम करेक्ट बिकॉज Financials are nothing but वही इधर से पैसा लो और उधर पैसे दो एंड बीच में यू मेक द मनी इन मार्जिन दैट्स द बिजनेस सो आई नीड माई फाइनेंशियल टू टेक एज मच मनी एज पॉसिबल बोथ इन टर्म्स ऑफ डेट एंड इक्विटी सो अरमान कैन गो अपन सिक्स टाइम्स सिक्स टाइम्स सो नाउ यू अंडरस्टैंड बाई दर ओवी इज थर्टी परसेंट नॉर्थ ऑफ थर्टी परसेंट बिकॉज द डेट टू इक्विटी सिक्स एंड इफ यू लुक एट दर ओवे इट्स ऑल्सो लाइक अराउंड फाइव परसेंट सो फाइव इंटू सिक्स इज थर्टी परसेंट तो हिसाब भी मिलता है विच इज द आर ओवी नंबर इन एफ आई ट्वेंटी थ्री we discuss discuss the maharashtra wala point again arman customers are not sensitive to interest rate because arman gives out loans at 27% 33% so who cares if the repo rate has gone up from 4% to 6.5% so arman customers ke liye it doesn't matter again the rbi regulatory change allows the organized mfi players to capture more market share now what has happened here is like there are certain things that the rbi has done let's discuss two points here so say for example rbi ne kya kiya tha pehle the rule was ke like micro finance institutes can only lend to households jinka total income is up to 1.5 lakhs in a year okay now what has what has rbi done is they have increased the limit to 3 lakh rupees a year household income up to 3 lakh rupees a year ko microfinance can target that means what suddenly microfinance ka ye loan dene ka base bad gaya the base increased why because the household income ka target has increased from 1.5 lakhs to 3 lakhs in a year that's a great news for arman second thing kya hai i mean not only arman but all the organized microfinance ko second is ke kya i mean how do i say so say for example if my monthly income now again hear this out properly if my monthly income is 10000 rupees no microfinance company can charge an emi more than 50% of my monthly income तो इसको एफ ओ आई आर करके एक सिस्टम है नॉट लाइक गोइंग इनटू ऑल डिटेल्स हम यहाँ पे थोड़ी मतलब पीएचडी करने आए हैं बट समझो लॉजिक को इफ माय इनकम इज टेन थाउजेंड रुपीज नो माइक्रो फाइनेंस कैन कम एंड यू नो चार्ज मी मोर देन फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ माई मंथली इनकम फिफ्टी परसेंट के ऊपर हो ही नहीं सकता तुम्हारा ई एम आई तुम उसको लोन मत दो राइट सो थ्री लैक्स एंड फिफ्टी ऑफ योर इनकम ये दोनों सिस्टम से क्या हुआ है नाउ वेन इफ a microfinance borrower doesn't have to pay more than because see uska aur bhi to kharcha hai na life mein emi dene ke baad ghar ka paisa nahi hai to tabhi to jaake wo default karta hai so this is why to to decrease defaults and to lower nps in the system this is what this is what the the 
the RBI has done. So that's a that's a great move. And Arman really appreciates both the both the moves in the in the con call me bola. MSME loans versus MFI loans. Now, since MSME loans are now, as you know, right, Arman will be shifting more and more towards MSMEs, right? So MSME may sourcing is more difficult because you have to give a higher ticket size loan, correct? So the rejection rate will also be higher, right? Because somebody is trying to set up a new store or something. Let's say, for example, a Kirana ka dukan or whatever it is. So sourcing is more difficult as well, and the rejection rates are also high. Then say, for example, a microfinance loan. Jahan pe you have 10 people, you know, you have 10 gao ke aurte ko lao, aur usko ab 30,000 karke ab 10 logo ko 3 lakh rupay loan de do, right? So wahan pe sourcing and and as well as rejection rates be come hota hai but yahan pe rejection rates zyada hota hai so many people come and ask me ke like what is the difference between msme and mfi loan this is the answer so again like arman raised equity at a price to book of 5.5 last year ka which is a great sign for investors in arman which we already covered okay so now we move on to the next company which is mass financials okay so mass financials again same strategy mein hum dekhenge pehle we'll see ke like kaun kaun se geographies mein hai what is the size of the loan book and what is the breakup of the loan book, right? And what are the target customers of mass? So can you see this again, mass financials? Mass financials ka size is four times of Arman. Can you see? It's it's 8,000 crore. Arman ka size is 2,000 crore. Mass financials is 8,000 crore. But also having said that, mass financials is also in seven states. Like Arman is in eight states, right? So dimag mein hamesha ye comparison karte rehna. So again, having said that, the first thing that comes to your mind is ke like, wow, these companies are only in six, seven, eight states, right? They can easily expand to 13, 14, 15 states over the next five to 10 years. And so there is immense scope to grow, immense scope to grow. Because India is a country with 150 crore people and with 2000 crore and 8000 crore loan book, it's, it's practically nothing, not even a drop in an ocean. So, where are the places where mass financials lend out money? Pahle ye jaan lete hai. Again, micro enterprise loans and SME loans. These two segments are exactly the first two segments in Arman. Got it? So, that is why I covered mass. I'm covering mass right after I covered Arman. So, micro enterprise loans and the SME loans, right? low ticket size item to group of people to a bit of high ticket size item to let's say for example or a working capital item or let's say you know a salaried employee but all in the unorganized and the semi-organized space right just like arman mass financials also catered to the the village people catered to tired three four five six ka people of course, you can pause the video and you can see that mass ka kahan kahan pe branches zada hai, right? Again, if you see, just like Arman, mass also started from Gujarat and now they're expanding to the other states. Again, you can pause the video and you can see micro enterprise loans, SME loans, two wheeler loans, commercial vehicle and salaried personal loan. So that eight thousand crore ka jo loan book hai, wahan pe dekhiye aap kahan kahan pe majority paisa hai. So, uh, so, so mass financial is given majority of the loan to micro enterprise loans, right? And to SME loans. Now, what are the kind of loans you can pause the video and can see? Like they give loans up to three lakh rupees. So, Arman or mass mein difference kya hai? Mass gives out a bit of higher ticket size loans to people compared to Arman. So, tenure is also higher because jitna ticket size badega, utna tenure bhi badega, right? And of course, with SME loans are nothing but business loans. SMEs are the small corporates in India, manufacturing dealers and distributors and blah blah and the tenure is up to 60 months right and the average ticket size is around 17 lakhs here the average ticket size is around 41000 rupees right so this is the this is the th these are the two places where mass gives out most of its loans now you can see two wheeler commercial vehicle and salaried salaried personal loan is something that they started recently and i think unka ek saal bhi nahi hua and commercial vehicle loan was also i think one one and a half years two saal se pehle chalu kiya so these are the segments that they will be growing right and like arman even mass financials also say the same thing right two wheeler ka since growth nahi ho raha hai hamare country mein two wheelers ke itna problems hai that is the reason why the two wheeler ka loan book was also not growing at that pace right so you can pause the video and you can read the tenure the loan book ka size, you know, and the average ticket size. Okay, so now just understand. Now we understood the geography, right? We understand which states they were in and we understood the breakup of the loan book. Now let's see the growth, right? And now when we see the growth, first is we need to see what is the growth of the asset under management. Can you see on a YOY basis, they have grown by almost 30%, which is a good growth in itself. And if you can see the profit after tax, now this is a problem with mass. So profit after tax ka growth is lower than your AUM ka growth. Matlab, Unlike Arman, mass financials don't have operating leverage, right? So operating leverage hota hai. So your PAT ka growth should have been higher than your AUM ka growth or your total income ka growth is what I'm trying to say. 
again having said that if you look at the aum and the and the uh, differentiator part here right i mean out of this 29% you can see here the micro enterprise group grew by 19% actually i am a little disappointed with this number of mass right i expected this number to grow at a faster pace considering of course a it is the biggest chunk of their book right and second is when the microfinance you know industry is coming back up right and you saw the you know uh, arman ka book ka growth of course i do understand that arman ka book is like like at a much smaller scale than mass but still i expected this number to be at a 25 26% but having said that tk overall is around 30% not bad and of course you can see two wheeler loans has grown at a 46% but it doesn't mean the two wheeler segment is doing very well but it means because the book is very small so on a very low base the growth looks much higher okay so these are basically the places where mass takes out money here can you kindly see here okay, like your cost of borrowing now again like just like arman mass ka bhi wohi hai the cost of borrowing is pretty high around 9 9 and 1/2% right because of course right you understand they deal with people in you know in the rural areas and the semi urban regions and of course kahan kahan se what are the sources of fund where do mass now they don't have casa they don't have casa franchise they don't have current account and savings account like bank so basically what they do is they take term loans from banks they take debts they issue bonds right and they of course they take and bonds are nothing but the non convertible debentures and also direct assignments including co lending what is co lending and securitization it's like say for example dono organization securitization is basically like you can buy somebody else ka portfolio and you can pay the money and then of course wo jo incremental emi aayega wo aapke paas aata rahega that securitization what is the second thing about co lending co lending is say for example banks and nbfcs milke and because nbfcs has geographical scale right and banks have large capital right so mix of so it's like a marriage between capital and scale you would see iifl has been taking the most advantage when it comes to this this particular arrangement when we cover it of course capital adequacy and all these things are also pretty high like of course like for an nbfc okay i missed out this point capital adequacy ka number has to be more than 15% right so both for arman and mass the number is way more than 15 for arman you can clearly uh, so for mass you can see the capital adequacy is at 25% that means they are they are pretty good okay so here is the number here again having said that it they lack operating leverage as i mentioned that's probably the only negative thing i have asset quality has continued to improve both on a qoq and a yoy basis okay so that's fine that's not not a problem and and mass financials has a subsidiary which is the mass rural affordable housing finance so they have made a separate management and of course can you see here it's only a 400 crore book and profit after tax i mean this is again a negative the pat has gone down on a yoy basis but again it's just a 400 crore book and they want to scale it up and since they wanted more focus in the housing division so they made a made it a subsidiary and have put in a separate set of management to take care of that book okay very very critical for any financial is we have to check the trend of the asset quality we, we saw the trend of asset quality for uh, uh, arman now we look at for mass can you see over the period of time the gnp and the nnp numbers are improving which is a great thing okay management commentary now can you see what the management said again having said that very very critical to understand the outlook ki company aage kya karne wala hai because stocks move according to outlook and not only based on historical past so that's where people make it a mistake when looking at screenart and all that because screenart won't give you the outlook right here aapko ek outlook mil raha hai right and that is what what we study and we try to give it to you ki aage ek saal se 3 saal mein like from 1 to next 1 to 3 years what are the companies going to do in the future us angle se we have to invest and then of course we have to check the execution and see whether jo expectation hai hamara based on the outlook and the reality wo ek hi line mein ja raha hai ki nahi and then of course we can invest more and more if say the outlook say reality or be better hote ja raha hai correct so that's how investing should be like active investing so mass talks about a 20 to 25% ka growth correct and they expect the aum to touch 10000 crore in this fiscal only so 8000 to 10000 crore is a 25% ka growth rate they should be able to do it again company in probably a couple of quarters back has said this they it will be easy for them to grow at this rate 20 to 25% the aum for the next 5 years right so it shows right with such a small base it's not that difficult to grow your base now here is where here is where i have a problem with mass financials the roe number now that's what they said the roe number will be between 15 and 18% in fy24 it's because mass financials do not raise capital at such a you know at an aggressive rate at which arman was doing so that's why mass ka roe should be between 15 and 18% going forward so the the point is this right if your roe is between 15 and 18% you cannot grow your book by 30 40% arman can do that because their roe 
is at 33 percent at the end of fy 23 that's why they can even grow their book at 35 40 percent so but here if you see mask up book of growth will be 20 25 percent because their roe is a much conservative nature and if you listen to kamlesh gandhi and the mask management they are a very very conservative lender even though they are in this space so arman is more like a you know a t20 player can be which can hit sixes and floats mass financial is in the same space but they are more like a test cricketer type okay so they're more conservative they more look at asset quality and grow their book structurally instead of getting the roe to a 20 25 percent but kya hoga in a bull market mass financials might not make as much money as arman financial as arman financial because of the roe ka number so keep this thing in mind so but then having said that they have always maintained solid asset quality with net NPA to stay below 1%. And see, this is the difference again. Since Maska ROE is lesser than Arman, so Mass is more defensive than Arman. That's why Arman can target a credit cost of around 1%. Since, I'm, I'm sorry, Mass can target a credit cost of around 1%. But Jabke Arman, which is way more aggressive also knows, will make a bit more mistakes than Mass. That's how you should look at investments, right? Risk reward, right? So that, that is why uh, Arman says that their credit cost will be in the range of 2.5%, whereas Mass says, no, we are conservative, we are a good lender, we want to scale up at our own pace, and so we can target the credit cost to be around 1% in FI24. So, but again, having said that, Mass and NIMS are at 7%. What was Arman ka NIM? 13%. So you can always understand the difference. Okay, like Arman is playing a much riskier game than Mass. Right. So mass is also looking to double pat in three to four years. So if you want to double pat in three to four years, that means profit after tax or EPS will grow at 20 percent. So mass is also a company that if you are targeting a 15, 20, 25 percent in your portfolio, like I have mass in my portfolio and I understand mass camera return expectations will be around 20 percent going forward, provided the company keeps on delivering, uh, delivering what they promise. OK, so now again, they are targeting 200 branches in two years from the current levels of 150. So 150 said 200 branches in two years is a 16, 17 percent increase in the number of branches. Again, like similar, right? Because if your branches are growing at 16, 17, 18 percent, then I can believe you saying that, OK, fine, I can grow at 20, 25 percent. But let's say if your branches are not growing, like let's say branches are growing at 2, 3, 4 percent, I won't believe you when you say I want to grow at 30 percent. Matlab, itna bhi digitization nahi ho gaya hai. Right, gaon mein, ki aap kuch sab online sab aap kar doge. It's a touch and feel model, and you need to have branches as well. So, mass slowed down in the COVID years and is now set for 25% growth. There is one more thing, like mass, if you just read the history about the company, they actually like literally squeezed their loan book during COVID, right? And they ensured they focus more on collection than dispersal during COVID. Now that COVID is gone, Mr. Kamlesh Gandhi keeps talks about growing now positive on the salaried personal loan and the home loan portfolio. So again, having said that, like, like Arman, mass ka bhi wohi hai, like inka jo naya naya division hai, let's say home loan ho gaya, salaried personal ho gaya, they're also trying to diversify the book. Okay, so mass financial is done. Now let's cover the last company, IFL Finance. Okay, same funda. IFL Finance is also like Arman and mass catering to a similar geography. So you can just read this. Can you see this? Primary strategy is to tap into the underserved market driven by expanding by physical strength, matlab physical branches, as well as using technology into, into collections as well as dispersal. So basically, IFL Finance catered to a customer base, which is very similar to the customer base that Arman and Mass are catering to. Okay, So that's, that's why I've clubbed all these three companies together. So again, first thing, where do where do IIFL Finance give out their loans? Okay, so if you see the total loan book of IIFL Finance is sixty five thousand crore, out of which you see home loan and gold loan are the two biggest divisions where they give out loans. Okay, and you can clearly see the mix also, right? Seventy percent of their loan book, almost seventy percent, is into home and gold loans. Then loan against property is LAP, which is ten percent. Digital gold loan is four, and microfinance is fifteen. So uh, I'll, I'll give you this. I've been tracking this company for the last three years and the microfinance division was less than 10%, I think uh, before 2020 when the division was not doing good. But what IFL Finance has done is they have increased the product mix towards more and more of microfinance because microfinance ka jab se recovery hua, the product mix has gone from 10% of the book to 15% of the book, which gave a boost to their NIMS and the ROE. And that is why you saw the, the stock as well of, of IFL finance to give a healthy return over the past two to two and a half years. So again, can you see now, again, the first is you got the mix. Now you know the kind of cater, the kind of customers they cater and the, and the loan book ka breakup. 
Now, what is the third thing we need to check? What is the growth of this loan book on a YOY basis? Can you see microfinance grew at a much faster pace than the other part? Of course, you can also come and tell me microfinance has a smaller base. But having said that, utna bhi ye base small nahi hai. So that also shows that microfinance is the space to be going forward. Because aaj isi space ki upar, ab dekh rahe ho, jitne bhi NBFCs hai, they're doing good. Because in ka microfinance mein, in ka exposure jin ka zada hai. Right, so that that's probably one of the and if you can clearly see even a 25% ka growth on a quarter on quarter basis in the microfinance book. But the other thing is like if you look at the home loans as well as the gold loans, they have also grown at a at a faster click at 23 and 28, which is pretty good. So their core AUM ka growth is 29%. So just like mass ka bhi 29%, 30% tha, IIFL ka bhi 20% tha. Okay, now do you see the portfolio yield here? I mean, if I give out a home loan, what is the uh, uh, interest that I'm making? So can you see here, home loans pe generally IFL utna return nahi milta hai, right? But if you look at the gold loans, right, this is where the money they make, 17.5 and microfinance, 23.8%. So when you increase your product mix more towards microfinance, that is 10% of the mix to 15%, with the incremental loan that you're giving, you're getting a higher yield of 23% instead of, let's say, 10% from home loan. As a result of which, the ROE of IIFL finance, I think, went up from 10% in FI20 to now, I think, around 20% in at the end of FI23. Now, I think you understand why the ROE bada because unke product mix me jo, jo incremental product mix jo bada microfinance ka. I'll give you a good example of uh, I know that this is not a part of financial, but if you look at the Varun beverages, Varun beverages ka ROE bada margins bada kaise because they introduced this product called Sting in their in their Pepsi ka portfolio. So Sting was zero percent, Sting thai nahi teen saal pehle, but now Sting is like ten to twelve percent of their entire portfolio and. If you sell a bottle of Sting, a 250 ml of bottle of Sting and a 250 ml of bottle of Pepsi, Sting say aapko zyada margin. You make higher margin from Sting than you make margins from selling a Pepsi ka bottle or a Mountain Dew ka bottle. So that is why what happened with the increase in Sting ka product mix, company ka jo top line bara, bottom line mein, they got an operating leverage because of Sting. So a very similar thing, the sting in the IFL portfolio is the microfinance book. I hope you guys understand this analogy. If you don't, you can always like reach out to me and we can discuss. Okay, so now you can see this IFL has a wider reach than Mass and Arman. 1,267 branches, 60,000 crore ka loan book. So if you see, IIFL is 30 times of Mass, uh, sorry, Arman, and around... Uh, nine times eight to nine times of mass financials so what i tell myself is sometimes is like i can see an arman and a mass going to iifl level in the future and if they can maintain this kind of profitability metrics and of course see the roe number cannot be at 40 percent if the book is one lakh crore. i get the point but having said that if roe number 25 percent bhi hota hai na arman ka when they let's say touch 50000 crore 35000 40000 crore and of course roe number besa rahega and keeping asset quality in check of course asset quality is the is the holy grail of financials wo kharab ho gaya to baki sab khatam ye sab discussion ka koi gunjaish nahi hai that's why we have to constantly track our business instead of making a you know a decision ki i will do sip only in arman no that doesn't work that way now all my focus is now on the q1 ka results aur jitna ye apna performance ko theek rakhega main utna paisa dalta rahunga in this business because i understand from a 2000 crore loan book you can go up to a 60000 crore loan book which will be a 30x growth in AUM, 30x in your AUM. Okay, let's come back to IFL now. Can you see here? IFL, ka, can you see? The AUM has grown up by 26, 29%. PAT has grown up by 40%. So that means, unlike mass, IIFL has operating leverage, right? So which is a positive thing for IIFL and not for mass. Second is, look at the ROE number. On a quarter on quarter, the ROE number has done better. Why? Because of the microfinance division. Because you saw, right, microfinance division, which is a high yielding division, is now at 15%. Eight quarters it was at 14 point something percent. So microfinance as a percentage of total book is going up because we are now, you know, you know, in a in a in a credit up cycle, which is led by microfinance. As a result of which you can clearly see the ROE number is at 20%, right? And the uh, capital adequacy is at 20%. Right. So as I told you, for any NBFC, the capital adequacy number has to be more than 15 percent or else your balance sheet does not have balance sheet is not strong and it doesn't have enough liquidity. OK, so and again, of course, the microfinance and gold loan division are growing at an aggressive rate. Again, thora sa history jan lete hai, and this may say you can clearly see, right, ke like 
this company suffered in covid matlab who did not suffer in covid but again if you look at their asset quality now their asset quality at the end of fy23 is as good as their asset quality in fy18 so that clearly shows that you know covid and all this demonetization and everything is behind ifl finance again cost of borrowing can you see the cost of borrowing has also come down and again can you see they have also got a rating upgrade by moody's right jaise kr ne arman ka rating badhaya IIFL ka bhi. So basically, see, these are the pointers that you add in your thesis, right? And you get an idea that what you are trying to do is correct. Okay, so there is no one plus one two here, right? So when, let's say, for example, I'm holding a financial, and then I see going forward that financial can raise more equity money. They are getting more and more upgrades by the credit rating agencies, right? The third is if I see the ROI number growing up in the in the in the future quarters. These are basically the things that je apko bata raha hai ki apka initial thesis sahi ja raha hai but they can always turn in the future that's what people mistake matlab aaj shayad iifl finance acha lag raha hai aage ja ke who knows there can be a corporate governance fraud then i have to sell the stock and run away immediately so that's how active investing is you cannot fall in love with a business only you can do is on emotional way you have to keep tracking and as things get better and better and see like for example this moody's ka upgrade is a validation for me right so once i get more and more validation i can put more and more money in that business got it and i'm talking about my investment capital so can you see this all the ratings are matlab as high as like the highest rating okay now again bit of notes here let's study so ifl model who do they lend to right now we understand right we they cater to the people in the in the lower strata right now who do they lend to they lend to mom and pop stores one man professional self employed एंड जहां पे बिजनेस होता है फ्रॉम देयर पर्सनल अकाउंट मतलब क्या फिर से कच्चा बिल वाला ठीक है यहां पे फिर से अगेन सिमिलर टू अगेन अरमान सिमिलर टू मैस इनका शहरों के लोगों को दे डोंट गिव आउट लेंड दे डोंट गिव आउट लोन्स फॉर देम एसबीआई एंड एचडीएफसी एंड कोटक है ठीक है टारगेट कस्टमर्स विद सैलरी ऑफ लेस देन 30000 रुपीस अ मंथ इन द रूरल एरिया एंड लेस देन 50000 रुपीस इन द अर्बन एरियाज राइट सो अगेन यू सी द कस्टमर बेस हियर राइट सो एक्सपेक्ट एम अगेन नाउ नाउ हमें आगे का देखना है करेक्ट सो आउटलुक क्या है सो इफ यू वांट टू मेक अ 25 परसेंट सीएजीआर इन योर पोर्टफोलियो एन एफ आई ट्वेंटी फोर यू नीड टू बी विद कंपनी जो 20 25 30 परसेंट का आउटलुक दे रहे हैं करेक्ट सो अगर कंपनी आउटलुक भी दे रहे हैं कि हम पांच से ग्रो करेंगे तो हाउ कैन यू एक्सपेक्ट ट्वेंटी फाइव बाई बाइंग दट स्टॉक जिसका आउटलुक पांच है मेक्स नो सेंस राइट सो हमें आउटलुक अच्छी चाहिए रिजल्ट अच्छी चाहिए और हिस्ट्री भी अच्छा चाहिए सो नाउ यू सी हाउ द चेकलिस्ट इज इवॉल्विंग फॉर अ फिनेंशियल राइट so going forward i guess you can do the same exercise for any nbfc in the world not only in india so so they say that they can grow at 25% in in fy24 both aum and pat asset quality shall continue to improve in coming quarters so nirmal jain ka ye wala dialogue mujhe bahut acha laga nirmal jain is by the way the founder of iifl who still runs the company so he says asset quality or be improve hoga and we already have seen that asset quality is, is at pre covid level se better ho gaya so or be asset quality better hoga ka matlab or be or be aapka company ka eps ka growth aayega because with the more and more improving asset quality you will have to do less and less provision less and less provision means more and more profit after tax means more and more eps ka growth for us and that is what we are looking at shareholders so target now target target getting roa to the levels of 4% what is the level of roa right now for this company is 3.3% so if they take the roa to 4% that means i can tell you mota moti the roe at a gearing ratio of 5 to 5.5 the roe can even touch 22 23 25% right i know i might be getting a bit greedy here but having said that for north of 20% mein rahega so these are music to my ears jab koi management con call mein aise baatein karta hai focus more on co-lending than on direct assignments direct assignment is basically like you you buy or you sell so basically kya hota hai say for example there is a bank okay and a bank has this priority sector lending ka needs like itna percentage of my book has to be in priority sector lending agri ka book kharidna hi hai mujhe so banks kya karta hai they buy portfolios from nbfcs so now the thing is this if you are constantly selling your book to banks then you are constantly tumhara yield bhi distribute ho raha hai there are more parties involved here so generally what what this company is saying ifl is saying okay we will co lend we will not sell you the portfolio but we'll try to build a portfolio with let's say an sbi in a tier 4 city jahan pe let's say sbi ka reach nahi hai right so that makes it's like it's like it's like i'll tell you this it's like a it's like an infrastructure project jisko hum bolte hain ham हेम का मतलब क्या है हेम का मतलब है हाइब्रिड एनुविटी मॉडल मतलब गवर्नमेंट और एक प्राइवेट इंफ्रा प्लेयर 
आके वो प्रोजेक्ट कर रहा है राइट इट्स नॉट लाइक द गवर्नमेंट से इसके लिए ओके okay, तुम पैसा लाओ तुम लोन लो तुम कुछ भी करो रोड बनाओ फिर हम तुमको पैसा देंगे right so that is why you see so many infrastructure companies going out of business in the past right so isliye that hamwala project so i know i'm like correlating but that's how the world works like sting is the microfinance when it comes to operating leverage right here the ham ka project is nothing but the nothing but the co lending ka project jaise wahan pe government or private milke koi sadak bana raha hai koi highway bana raha hai the same thing is here that an nbfc so now here is the thing right Many people come and ask me like banks agar expand kar rahe, NBFCs chala, chala jayega. Banks ko bhi pata hai ki NBFCs cater to niche customers in niche geographies, right? So kaun wahan ja ke branch kholega aur ladai karega, correct? Rather than main ek NBFC ke saath, I'll go get, get into a co-lending agreement. Again, see this credit cost is to be around 2%. So that also shows that an IIFL finance and an Arman is more of risk takers than a mass financial. Because when you say credit cost of one percent in the microfinance space, then you're then you're not expecting your ROE to be not the thirty percent or twenty five percent. मतलब आप slowly grow करोगे. So if you're buying mass cap stock, again like no recommendations here, right? I'm just talking about companies that I hold and I believe can you know double pat in three to four years, right? So उस तरीके से मैं बता रहा हूँ कि if you are buying mass financials, you don't expect mass financials to be as Even though you might say, "Kale, why mass financials' ka book is much smaller than IFL?" But I do believe with Nirmal Jain and IFL, they are even though with a with a larger book much larger book they are still more aggressive than mass financials so nbfc sector consolidation after the regulations uh, i hope you guys remember the regulations the two pointers that i talked about when i was discussing arman so kya hota hai when let's say for example when the regulators come in so basically regulators have been very strict and if you always see in, in our past regulators have saved banks like yes bank is safe but regulators did not saved saved iif uh, sorry uh, uh, they did not save dhfl correct or ilfs correct unko to nahi bachaya correct but they saved yes bank but going forwards regulators ko samajh mein aaya for the country to grow and for the country to become a 5 trillion economy and 10 trillion economy which the government says the nbfc space and the msme space has to grow because if you look at our country more than 70% of employees right and 80% of businesses hey msme right so matlab self employed log zyada hai मतलब टीसीएस और सीटीएस में काम करने वाले कितने लोग हैं हमारे कंट्री में जबकि हमें लगता है बहुत लोग हैं बिकॉज हम उस दुनिया से आए हुए हैं सो यू हैव टू बी वेरी केयरफुल व्हेन यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस सो के दैट इज व्हाई सेक्टर कंसोलिडेशन सो जितना आरबीआई अपने रेगुलेशंस को तगड़ा करेगा जितना लेट्स से फॉर एग्जांपल अगेन एन एनालॉजी आई एम टेलिंग यू द मोर एंड मोर सेबी सेबी यू नो streamlines the whole broking industry angel one angel one will continue to capture more and more market share because the local brokers don't even have the capital and the power to scale so they will go out of business because now unka digitization hai now unka super app hai right so similarly i actually want i actually want to have a company with a small market cap and in a space where it is running in an organized way where more and more regulations from the regulator will actually help me to capture more market share so angel one same thing is happening in the broking space for me arman mass financials iifl the same thing is happening to me in the whole in the whole nbfc space so increase competition from banks in the gold loan space that's why you would see a mannapuram and muthut i am not covering them because of the same reason ke like banks are getting very aggressive in gold loan banks were not that aggressive with gold loans pre covid but covid ke baad banks understood ki gold loan is a very safe way because gold loan mein there is hardly defaults right you actually have the gold from your customer and then you pay the money right so banks getting aggressive on gold loans mein kya hua hai state bank of india can give a gold loan at 7.5% jab ke let's say muthut finance can give, gives out a gold loan at 22% now let's say there is a state bank and a muthut finance in the same locality who will you go to right will you pay 7% interest or will you pay 23% interest you will pay so that's why muthut and mannapuram ka they have to lower the yield lower the yield of gold loans to agar aap dekhoge na even iifl ka bhi yield is at 17% to ye wala portion of the book can come under pressure for iifl because see going forward incrementally if the yield is 12 13 14% because of the pressure from banks because they will give out gold loans at 7 at 10% icici bank of baroda mein ab jaoge aapko ek 10% mein gold loan mil jayega so agar iifl ke geography mein wo hai can they continue lending at 17% is the question now iifl ka counter answer yahi hai that we catered to customers jo aur bhi matlab economy ke niche level ka hai matlab kya 
हम उस जगह में लोन देते हैं गोल्ड लोन जहां पे बैंक का ब्रांच खोल ही नहीं सकता या फिर खोलने में बहुत टाइम लगेगा बट देन अगेन वो तो एक अलग डिस्कशन बन गया सो बैंक बिकॉज बैंक का भी ब्रांच धीरे धीरे बढ़ रहा है सो द रिस्क दैट आई एफ एल फाइनेंस दैट आई फाइंड इज इज द रिडक्शन इन दील्ड एंड द निम्स इन द निम्स हो सकता है बिकॉज ऑफ द गोल्ड लोन बुक अगेन बट हैविंग सेट दैट नाउ लेट्स कम बैक uh the management expects the mfi book to grow at 25 to 35% going forward okay so i think we are done mm, we have covered all those things let me first stop the yeah so i think we are done with this so i hope you guys got value so uh, we'll continue we have so more uh, i think we have around 12 to 15 more nbfcs to cover like ca gramin hai fusion hai five star finance hai so we'll take two two three three companies and we'll cover the entire sector so any doubts you have please let us know like uh, send me a whatsapp audio and of course as you guys like know the drill i will get back to you as soon as possible thank you so much